Welcome back to The Bloated Chef. I am Chef Jerome, an actual bloated chef. And before we get to today's informative and entertaining tutorial, please be sure to slap down on that like button, click the subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and share with the entire planet. Please keep your hands inside the ride at all times, and we thank you. Welcome back to the Bloated Chef, and we are back on the big board. What do we have today? It looks like a bunch, and I mean a bunch, of leftovers. A can of peas? Seriously? A can of asparagus? Ew! Bag of spinach? What else? Look, half a dozen button mushrooms, green onions, carrots, onions, basil, really cool pasta called tortole. Little pig's tails is what that means. We're going to smash this all together and do a carbonara style pasta with sweet peas. So, first things first, obviously, start our water. Set water on heat. Heavily salt water, and I mean heavily. Let's go ahead and drain those two disgusting cans of asparagus and sweet peas. They're disgusting now, but they won't be when this dish is done. Trust me when I tell you that. All right, having properly rinsed that metallic taste off of those, we start in our Pecorino Romano. That's going to go with our egg yolks. Anyone who knows about carbonara, that's a key ingredient. Next up is some more maintenance. Knock out these carrot real quick. Knock out these mushrooms real quick. And our mise en place is done. Glorious. Glorious, I say. Let's get to making this sauce. Let's start with our levels. Okay, first up, butter and some avocado oil in a preheated beautiful Dutch oven. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And in goes our onion and our carrots. Not shown. Our green onion whites are also in the bowl. Now then, time to season appropriately. Kosher salt. Hefty, hefty poke of some fresh cracked black peppercorns. While all that's working, let's add our vegetable base into our water. That's what we're going to cook our pasta in and help thin out the sauce. In go those mushrooms last but not least because they do take the shortest amount of time to cook. So we'll sweat those down along with the rest of the other veggies. A mere two to three minutes later, we will add some of the darker green ends of the green onion bulbs. And in goes our spinach. That's about half a bag. We will end up using all of that. It's going to provide a nice, bright, rich green color, of course, and make it nice and healthy as well. So here we are. In goes our asparagus and our peas. Well rinsed, metallic flavor gone. Incorporate that in. We will season just one more time. And of course, we season with salt and pepper, fresh cracked peppercorns, nice rough coarse ground kosher salt, always good to season, season at every level people, right? Now then, in goes a shitload, and that's about three tablespoons of fresh minced garlic. This dish will need all the flavor assistance it can get, right? And in goes our pasta, which we will bring to a boil and then immediately cut the heat off underneath. We do not want this to overcook in any way, shape, or form. Got it? Good. Now then, as it's cooked, we've got it shut off. It's probably a little less than halfway cooked. We will start to thin down these veggies. It's going to need it. So let's go ahead and use some of that nice starchy pasta water. And we will add our stick blender and puree this until it's smooth baby we take a look we know it needs to be a little looser we add a little more of that liquid in and now it's time to pulse and puree baby puree
all right we've made a judgment we need a little bit more of that pasta water and once again it's hooray for the puree baby and it feels like the desired consistency of our sauce right now save that pasta water do not discard we start adding our almost cooked pasta we want it just short of al dente and we're going to finish it on a very low simmer in this sauce this is going to be friggin fantastic now then we have incorporated the pasta in with all that beautiful sauce that pasta will continue to cook and absorb that sauce we will add that half of that fresh chopped basil in there folks this is looking really really good right now that goes about a quarter cup of some heavy cream I just happen to have sitting around you could actually go without heavy cream and make this thing completely vegan and it's already completely vegetarian so vegetarians rejoice all right as that's on low simmer we take those three egg yolks no whites just yolks and we're gonna add half I call it half of our Pecorino Romano. Whip that together really good, really fine. Make sure it's all incorporated and mixed together well. And that's going to get added at the very last step into our pasta mix. Right? Right. All right, little razzle dazzle on the back burner as we lay some butter, a knob of butter down. In goes our Calabrian chili. It's going to add a nice, small but noticeable heat component to the dish. Stir that through all the way. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And we thank you. Now then, the heat is off. The heat is off. We're going to let that pasta cook up and finish by itself. It'll finish in the sauce and be perfectly cooked al dente. There goes some breadcrumbs. I'm going to use that. Toast those up. Make those into a nice little crumble for a crunchy component to the dish. All right, last step, folks, last step. In goes that egg yolk parmesan mixture. And we give that a good stir all the way through, fully incorporated. Gives it a beautiful creamy component, and we are ready to plate. Right here, we use up that basil, mix that right in with the breadcrumbs, and our crunchy component topping is now ready. On to the plating. Words are very unnecessary, they can only do harm. Don't forget the freshly cracked pepper. And now we add the crunchy component and add a wee bit of bread, because every good pasta needs bread. Let me tell you something, folks, this rocked. Have you seen us? Do you see what we're trying to do? We need your help. We're trying to get to a thousand subscriptions, folks. One thousand and more. Once we do, three beautiful charities will be impacted greatly. 50% of every penny, every single penny we make will go towards these three charities. And we need your help to get there. So please, if you haven't already, like, Subscribe for sure. Share with the world. Leave some comments. Smash that notification bell. That way, you know when we drop a new one. We thank you.